Greetings, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon each one of you. Today, as we gather in this digital space, let us give praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father, from whom all blessings flow. Now, let us turn our attention to the words of truth found in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 24. The Lord Jesus declares, Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins, for if you do not believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. In this passage, our Savior is engaging with those who questioned His authority and identity. He addresses a critical truth, the consequence of unbelief. Jesus' words reveal the gravity of rejecting Him. He speaks with divine authority, warning that without faith in Him as the Messiah, as the great I Am, death in sin is inevitable. To understand the context, we must remember that Jesus spoke these words during the Feast of Tabernacles, a time when Jewish people celebrated God's provision in the wilderness. In the midst of this, Jesus proclaims His identity as the living water and the light of the world. Yet, His opponents challenged Him, doubting His claims. The warning about dying in our sins is a stark reminder of the eternal consequence of rejecting Christ. This isn't merely a theological concept, it's a matter of utmost importance. We are called to believe in Jesus, to accept Him as the Son of God who came to save us from our sins. Faith in Him is the path to eternal life. In our modern world, there are many distractions and false teachings that seek to divert us from the truth. We live in an age where relativism and self-centeredness can cloud our understanding. But as believers, we are called to stand firm in the Word of God, to hold fast to the Gospel message. Just as those in the time of Jesus needed to choose whether to believe in Him or reject Him, we too face the same choice. Let us examine our hearts today. Do we truly believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior? Are we walking in the light of His truth? Or are we allowing ourselves to be ensnared by the darkness of unbelief? Let us not take these words lightly, for they resonate through the ages as a call to repentance and faith. Let us join in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly, acknowledging our need for your grace. Help us to guard our hearts against the deceit of unbelief and to embrace the fullness of your Son's redemptive work. Grant us the courage to stand strong in our faith and to share the good news with a world in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this reflection today, my dear brothers and sisters. May the Lord's truth guide your steps, and may His love fill your hearts. Until we gather again, go in His peace.